It's been a challenging school year for everyone. But as we draw to the end of this school year, Tri-County Scholarship Fund is pleased to report some very good news. In fact, lots of good news. All 53 of the Tri-County Partner Schools stayed open throughout this school year, offering vital in-person education. Our students did not miss a beat. More good news. 70 Tri-County High School seniors just graduated in June. That's a 100% high school graduation rate and they're all headed off to college. More good news. In September, 750 kindergarten through 12th grade students will receive a Tri-County scholarship to attend a safe quality school. But at the same time, there's some bad news. There are 1,900 equally deserving children still waiting on our scholarship waiting list, waiting for this same basic chance to attend a quality school where they can feel safe. You know, the importance of helping these students is given special meaning through the personal story of the Honorable Julio M. Fuentes, Senior U.S. Circuit Judge of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. Born in Puerto Rico in 1946, Judge Fuentes is the first Hispanic judge to serve on the Third Circuit. Thank you for that introduction. I'm very honored to be recognized by this organization because I know and respect so many of its members, but more importantly, because I have so much regard for this organization's mission to help inner city students access top quality education. There are a few causes that I can think of that help society more than ensuring that the next generation is well prepared for the future and well prepared to be leaders in that future. To the graduating Tri-County High School students, I would like to say congratulations. The confidence and the investment that this organization has placed in each of you can be a great source of motivation and encouragement as you move forward in your education and in your careers. I don't like talking about myself usually, but my story is a lot like many of yours. I want you to know that regardless of where you started, you never know where life may take you with hard work and community support. I first came from Puerto Rico to New York City, but I wouldn't say I grew up there. In fact, I started out on a chicken farm in Lakehurst, New Jersey. So, most definitely not a glamorous beginning. The place had a very unique and unforgettable aroma. And those chickens didn't think much of me either. Certainly not that I might go to law school and have a successful career. My mother, God bless her, was a single mom who worked double shifts as a nurse to support my brother and me. I met my father once, a 15 minute hello, and that was it. Today, I don't see any of that as a disadvantage or something to be embarrassed about. I'm proud of my family and my mother, who without realizing it, taught me the value of a strong work ethic. Humble origins should not stop anyone from dreaming big. And not only did I not have the most glamorous childhood, I didn't even, I didn't even know that I wanted to be a lawyer until much later. I went to college largely to play sports, particularly wrestling. And midway through college, I left school and I got drafted. And I ended up in the Army and stationed in the Panama Canal. It was around that time, as it largely coincided with the Vietnam War and the Civil Rights Movement, that I started getting interested in social and political issues. I became aware of the importance of defending civil rights, women's rights, access to equal education, and America's role in the international community. And it was lawyers who were fighting the good fight. And so I started to think that law school was really one of the few ways that I felt I could become involved in supporting and addressing some of those issues, even in a small way. And to be honest, I met a young lady in Panama that I wanted to impress. So I went to law school, and she's now my wife. So that worked pretty well. Once I had that law degree, I wanted to use it to help others who were underrepresented for many reasons, such as a language barrier, 
So my way of using my degree to serve the community was opening up a law firm serving Newark and Jersey City, which had a large non-English speaking community, but at the same time, very few bilingual attorneys. It was a small drop in the bucket, but I, I feel we made a difference in some people's lives. And there were a few things more re rewarding than that professionally. My point with this is not to focus on myself, but to let the students know that it doesn't matter where you started. It doesn't matter if you haven't figured it out yet. It doesn't matter if it seems some have more advantages than you. What matters is that you want to work hard. And when you decide what your dream is, you're not afraid to pursue it. It won't always be easy, but never be afraid to ask for help. Seek out mentorship, and please, don't be afraid to make mistakes. They will happen, and they will make you stronger in the long run. In many ways, you have everything you need here at Tri-County Scholars, and you have an amazing community here cheering for you. They're not only financially invested in your success through scholarships, but emotionally invested. We want you to succeed. I recently heard one of my colleagues say, don't focus on what is likely or probable and safe. Instead, focus on the realm of possibilities. I think that is better advice than I could give you. In other words, give yourself options. Don't be afraid to dream, to challenge yourself, and to think big. But of course, never forget where you came from and to help others along the way. And remember, most of the mistakes you make along the way, they're not your failures. They are your teachers. In closing, I note many of the issues that inspired me to go to law school are the very issues that your generation continues to face. Defense of civil rights and civil liberties, access to quality education for everyone, all of you can contribute to making our society better. And I look forward to hearing your success stories. Please be part of the solution. Think about helping just one more child have a chance at a future of opportunity and hope. <laughs>